Now let us see uh, the trilateration principle and it, how it is used and implemented in the operation of a GPS. Here what we can see is the surface of the earth and United States of America in the picture and as an example stated in two dimension trilateration we assume a point any point anywhere in the United States of America and we have three satellites over here that is the first satellite the second one and the third one now as I said the GPS receiver and the satellite approximately calculates the distance between each satellite and the receiver and if this is the satellite number one it calculates approximate distance between the GPS receiver which is on United States of America the distance say X miles and we should draw a circle or sorry a sphere of radius X miles from the satellite number one which states that or which means we are inside a sphere of radius X miles and the second la satellite is over here and when we draw a one more sphere with the radius say equal to the distance between the satellite number two and the point where we are at United States that is the radius say Y miles and this is the sphere what we draw around the satellite number two so what we can see over here the, this area as I show over here is the intersection point or the intersecting area of two spheres which means we are exactly over here somewhere over here so to find out the exact location we can assume the intersecting area as a circle as I draw over here now yes this is the circle and let us better under, uh, view in a better way so that we will understand it better just see this is the circle what we get by drawing the intersecting area of the two spheres earlier and now say the distance between uh, the point where we are and the third satellite is Z and when we draw a sphere of radius Z around the satellite number three that intersects at two point at two points on the circle what we have drawn this is point number one and this is point number two which again means that only this point is the position of the GPS receiver because it is on the surface of the earth or on the United States of America and this is at space which means we are not at space and this point can be dismissed so this is the location of the GPS receiver so this is how we use the trilateration principle and three satellites or four satellites to exactly locate the position of the GPS receiver.